Wild Horse Islands is currently the most popular horse game on Roblox with over 10,000 players. But the game can get pretty overwhelming after the tutorial as you are just released into the wild. From here, you can pretty much do whatever you want. But I am sure the main things you're interested in learning how to do are quests, how to get materials, taming horses, how to get money, how to level up, and how to get to new islands. Quests are actually non-compulsory in the game. They don't actually unlock the islands, they can be a bit repetitive, and there are actually better ways to level up. However, they do usually give you money and XP, and they are a good way to get comfortable with the game's mechanics and the map. To find a quest, open your map by pressing M or clicking the mini-map. Look for a red book icon and go over to it. If you have already started a quest, it will tell you the quest name and requirements in the bottom left corner. Usually it will be to get resources, catch horses, sell items, or talk to another NPC. You can find almost all materials on the islands. The only material that you will find yourself needing to get a lot of that is hard to find is rope. Rope sometimes spawns on beaches and is used to make lassos which are used to tame horses. The only reliable way to get rope is to buy it from Larry for 50 coins. Larry can be found on almost all islands and is located in the town on the mainland. He is also labelled as trader on the map. 50 coins might seem like a lot of money, especially if you need a lot of rope, but trust me it is worth it and I will show you how to make money later on. Larry also sells wood, stone and tin, but I would strongly advise not buying these resources from him as they are actually plentiful in the world. Better harvesters will shorten the amount of time it takes to gather a material, and this is especially important when you need to get rarer resources that take a very long duration. Larry sells these improved harvesters, and he will offer more harvesters depending on which island you are on when buying from him. Generally, I would recommend getting a better harvester as quickly as possible to reduce the time you spend grinding for resources. You can also find leaves, flowers, shells, coconuts, and other materials scattered on the ground. A general rule of thumb is to pick everything up, even if you don't know what to do with it. If you want more horses for free, you can catch wild horses on the island. Roll credits. To catch a wild horse, you need a lasso, and to make a lasso, you need rope and some sort of material like stone or wood. You already know how to get wood and where to buy rope, so you are all set. To actually make the lasso, hit tab on your keyboard or click the backpack icon. Then in the bottom left corner, you will see a craft button. If you then click on the lassos section, a drop down menu will appear where you can see which ones you have unlocked. Simply click on the lasso you want, put in the number you want to make, and then click craft. When you go back to your inventory, you will see the lasso under equipment. Now all you need to do is to find a wild horse. There are many that spawn around the mainland, so you just need to run around for a bit. When you come across a horse that you want, equip your lasso by hitting 2 on your keyboard or clicking the lasso icon at the bottom of your screen. You will then see a grey circle appear around you. This is the area that you need to have the horse inside in order to tame it. Go up to the horse and left click to begin taming. The bar above a horse's head shows how many points you need to complete taming. The rarer the horse, the more points you will need. Keep up with the horse, and every time it is inside the grey circle, left click to use your lasso. If you have the wood lasso, you will do one point per click. Once the bar is full, the horse will be fully tamed and will be put into your inventory. However, once taming is complete, your lasso will break. Once you begin taming a horse, no one else can try to tame it. Better lassos will have a bigger range, aka circle, and will knock off more points per click. This makes taming much quicker, especially when you are trying to tame better horses. Once you have your horses, you can see them in your inventory. Press tab and then click on the horses drop down menu. From here, you can click on any that you own to see its personality, gender, date court and stats. Click any of the information to understand what it means. From here, you can make the horse follow you, ride it or rename it. 
You can also click the padlock symbol to lock your horse. By locking it, you will no longer be able to sell or trade it. This is very useful when you have many horses that you trade and sell and you don't want to accidentally get rid of your favorite horses. Simply click the padlock icon again to unlock it. To bond with your horse, look for its icon on the upper right corner of your screen. The symbol that appears on the left side of the icon is what your horse needs. For example, a pet, a brush or some water. Horse needs do not affect anything, so if you choose not to take care of your horse, there will be no penalties. However, to bond with your horse more quickly, you can feed it foods such as berries, apples and wheat. For getting the most out of bonding, feed your horse its favourite food. You can find the horse's favourite food by feeding it all different types. You'll notice that you don't need tack to ride your horse, but most tack will give a bonus of some sort when equipped. The main way to get tack is by crafting it, although you can find some items at Larry's or players that are trading for tack. You can also breed your horses. If you have two or more horses, you can go to the breeder on the mainland. You must have over 25 bond with both horses and it will cost coins to do the breeding. You will then get a foal that you will have to make follow you around to grow up. Generally, I recommend leaving the breeding until you have a decent amount of money and horses that are actually worth the breeding. Earning money in Wild Horse Islands is easier than it seems. Every 15 minutes, you will get a check just for being online, and every 40 minutes, you can claim 50 coins. Quests will also give you a little bit of cash every time you complete one. You can also sell horses, produce, materials, and even tack to Larry. Generally, selling horses is the best and fastest way to get money. Even though it costs 50 coins to buy the rope for the lasso, even basic horses will sell for over 100 coins. If you keep reinvesting in rope to make lassos, to catch horses, to sell horses, and so on, you will continue to make a profit. To sell a horse to Larry, just go up to him, press E and select Sell. Then choose any horses or items you wish to sell, click Done and he will tell you how much he will give you for those items. If you are happy, just click the green Sounds Good. Just be aware, any horses you sell to Larry will be gone forever, so make use of the lock button I mentioned earlier to save your favourite horses from doom. The quickest way to level up is definitely farming. To do this, just go to the farm shop and buy seeds. You can use berry seeds to start with as they are the cheapest option. Buy up to six seeds and then go to the docks and talk to William. Ask to be taken to a private island and select your username. Going to your own island is free. Head towards the barn and make a sharp right to go to the farm area. To plant your seeds, press tab, go to food and farming, click the seeds of your choice and then select equip. Go to the planters and left click on the squares to plant. You must then wait for the seeds to grow. Seeds will grow even when you are offline so you can go do some collecting or even log off in the meantime. Different seeds will take different length of time to grow and will also give you different amounts of XP for harvesting. Generally, the more expensive a seed, the longer it takes to grow, and the more XP it gives. You can then choose to sell the produce or give it to your horses to increase your bond. As you level up, you will gain access to more islands. I will put up the order and level needed to unlock each island on screen. Every island will be unique and it will have its own biome, special horses, and special materials. They will also give you more quests to complete if you wish to do so. To go to a new island, just visit William at any dock and select the island. Be aware that going between islands costs coins, so travel as little as possible. The only islands which don't spawn materials or horses and are unlocked from the beginning are RP Island, Wild Island and Training Island. These islands are also free to travel to and from. If you use the farming method to level up, you will find that unlocking all the islands won't take long at all. And there is my beginner's guide to Roblox Wild Horse Islands. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips or if you need help with anything. 
I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to say a massive thank you to my Wild Horse Island stream viewers as they basically taught me how to play the game and told me everything I mentioned in this video. If you don't want to miss my live streams, click the bell icon to get a notification and join the Discord to keep up to date with horse games, streams and videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!